Researchers in Croatia have trained honeybees to find landmines. Between this and colony collapse, bees are getting exactly zero breaks. Anthony here for D News, and in the countryside of Croatia and other former Yugoslavian countries, landmines are a serious problem. There are supposedly a quarter of a million live landmines still buried there from wars in the 90s. 300 people in Croatia alone have been killed by them since the end of the war, and 66 of them were people that were actually sent in to look for landmines. It is crazy dangerous to find and disarm these things. So, to minimize risk, the EU has created a multi-million dollar program called Tiramisu, training crack agents to sniff out landmines across the continent. Those agents are bees. Basically, a team feeds bees sugar solutions that have trace amounts of TNT in them. The bees begin to associate the smell of the explosive with food. So you release the bees into the wild, you use thermal cameras to see where they gather, and you know where the mines are. It sounds crazy, but it's actually been tested before here in the US by DARPA. But instead of thermal cameras, every bee had a tiny radio tag on it. So this seems a little more efficient. Using animals to find mines is nothing new. We've been doing it for years. Their senses are far more attuned than ours. They're smaller and lighter, which means they set off less mines in the process of finding them. The Navy has been using dolphins to find underwater mines since the 1960s because dolphins are smart enough to actually tell the difference between man-made and natural objects in the water. And their sonar senses make them even more reliable than our best cameras and sensors in darker, murky waters. So they find an object, they come back up to the surface, they ring a bell to let us know that they found something strange. Just this week, dolphins found a brass torpedo that was used by the Navy in the 19th century. It's one of only two left in existence, and it's being cleaned up for display in the Naval History and Heritage Command in Washington. You know, probably my favorite mind sniffing animal is the giant African pouched rat. Look at this guy. Mozambique's got a bunch of mines across their country from a civil war. They've been trained to use their sense of smell to search a field and scratch the ground where they find explosives. They're so light that they can't set off a mine on accident, and they're so smart and fast that they can cover a field that would take humans hours in just 30 minutes. Their sense of smell is actually so sensitive that they're also used to diagnose tuberculosis. 1.7 million people die of tuberculosis every year, and only half of them ever get diagnosed. Diagnosed. The rats sniff mucus samples and scratch the dishes of the ones where they smell the disease. They're so good at it that they were able to diagnose 2,400 people that conventional lab testing missed. So awesome! We tend to underestimate the intelligence and senses of animals and insects, and here they are doing jobs that we can't, that are too dangerous or that require a whole sensitivity that we just don't have. Let me know if you've heard of any other crazy specialized tasks animals are doing, and follow us on Twitter. We're at DNews. And hey, big news this week. We are on test tube now, which is this brand new, super fancy Discovery Digital Network full of shows like ours that are all about science and curiosity and all the amazing stuff you want to know about the world around you. I've got another show over there called Nature Hates You, which is all about how the seemingly normal and docile things in the world are plotting to destroy you. So head over to testtube.com and check them all out. They're not all as paranoid as mine. <laughs>